Okay, the first step in this project is to get on Itopia once you're ready to 3D model. Remember, Itopia is in MyCFISD. Search for IT, and then you should see this one, Itopia Cloud Apps. And then you sign in. Once you sign in, remember the first step is always go to Google Drive and sign in here. Okay. Once you've signed in, you need to, I'm not going to sign in, but you need to. Once you sign in, you're going to open up Adobe, not Adobe, Autodesk Inventor. It's this one, not this folder, this one right here, the yellow eye. And when that opens up, if this happens to come up, just hit OK on this. And then you're going to start with a part, okay? A part, so click right here, new part. If you don't see this over here, you can go up here to this and click new part. If you happen to click this instead and this pops up, it's this right here, part, a standard part. You click that and hit create. So either one of those, you're going to open up a part. This might take it some time, so just give it, give it, be patient. Once you get here, okay, the, remember the first thing you're, you're making is you're making the, a one inch by two inch rectangle and that, and that, the, it pops up a quarter of an inch. So here's how we would do that. We'd click start 2D sketch. Um, it doesn't really matter. I like to start on this one here, okay. Um, so I'm drawing from the top view down and I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to make that that's two inches so I type two I hit tab and I type one and I hit enter so there I have made a two by one rectangle if you happen to lose where you are okay if you go over here there's a little house icon right above the view cube you click that and it will get back to where you need to be then once you do that you need to make it 3D. Now, I saw a lot of people already starting this and they started doing the tabs on this part. I wouldn't do that um, because then the tab is kind of hidden in that extrusion and it might make more sense later, but go ahead and finish this sketch and then we can extrude this up a quarter of an inch. So make sure you change this to 0.25. You could also type 1 fourth if you ever need to do fractions in Inventor. You hit OK. Now we can put another sketch on this top face and then we can start to do the the tab wherever you're doing the tab or the void whatever you need to do so you know and it will snap to the edges here so if I was doing a rectangle one I could do that or whatever okay um, but then you just draw your tab draw your void make sure you have the right dimensions the right location dimensions the right size dimensions you give those to your your person that your piece is touching or they give you the piece or the, the dimensions for the, the void part, but you just finish making this whole thing.